Good morning, everyone. So what we're going to do today, I'm sure you can see it already, my little baby goose, Angel, has angel wing. So you see how both of her wings fall out like that to the side and she can't keep them up? That's angel wing. So today I'm going to show you the whole process on how to treat angel wing. Let's get started. So this is angel. She's a very special goose. I call her she. She might not be. And this is angel wing. So all you need for angel wing is vet wrap. So we're going to position her. She loves to cuddle. And she might not like me after this. So this is hard sometimes when you're doing it alone. So you want to pick up the wing. She already didn't like that. And she's probably going to poop on me. She's probably going to poop on me, aren't you? So you want to take the wing and you want to tuck it under. And you don't want to just push it in. You want to tuck it under so that it sits the way it's supposed to. See that? How it sits like that? And this is the hard part. And getting them to stay still. That's really hard. And I don't usually have to do both wings. You usually only have to do one. Alright, my baby girl. Come on. You gonna sit down? Are you gonna sit down? There you go. There you go, sweetie. You wanna sit down so we get the other one. We gotta get both. We gotta get both. Tuck it under, sweetie. what causes this is a deficiency in feed. Some kind of vitamin. I know you're scared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to scare you. I'll just pull it all out first. Sit down. Sit down. It's okay. She doesn't like the noise. You might not be able to hear it, but it's making like a crinkling noise that she doesn't know. And of course she pooped on me, so that's always fun. You pooped on me. So I'm going to tuck it. And we'll bring it around. That first wrap is always going to be the most difficult. And it might be better if you just skip the first wing to the second wing and go right around to secure your first wing, if you know what I mean there. And the reason we use vet wrap is because the vet wrap will cling You're getting somewhere as long as you don't move. So the first one is secure, sort of, unless she jumps up and flare, flares. Now they never like this. This is never something they like to have done. It's okay, it's just the, it's just the vet tape, that's all. I mean, you don't know what that is. Like. So we want to try to keep it straight. Because this is going to be on for three days. Alright, so now that's on. I know, sugar. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm still sticking out, so. And now we're going to go down. Well, I'll pick her up and show you when we're done. 
pretty much kind of going by feel right now. All right. All right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. I told you we going to fix your wings today. Yeah. You gotta fix them. You can't let you suffer like that. And this is something that you want to fix when they're young. Because if you don't fix it when they're young, you're, you're not going to fix it. You're not going to fix it when they're adults. It's done. At that point, if you've, if you've maybe adopted a goose or a duck, this happens usually with waterfowl, not, uh, not usually with chickens or anything like that. I know I'm taking forever, but I'm making sure it's done correctly and the tape is straight. And I'm not trying to freak her out too much either. Yes, I know, I know. I know, I know. You're okay. She does not like the sound of this vet tape unwrapping. I wonder what it sounds like to her. So trying to go to the back of the leg and then we're going to bring it around the front we're going to bring it around the front I know oh 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 all right now we got to feel we got to feel your foot here. Okay. Okay. Calm down. There you go. There you go. All right. It's going to unwrap again. I'm trying to do it quietly. So if you get a, um, if you adopt a grown adult goose or duck, anything waterfowl, and it comes to you already with this issue. Just leave it alone. It's not going to work. It's too late. They need this fixed um, in the first part of their life when they're young. You guys stand up, sweetie. All right, no, you don't. No, you don't. Go under the other leg. I know. Do I go under the other leg, sugar. Under the other leg. Okay, sweetie. Now we're gonna go this way. If I can get it positioned properly. You want to try to make sure also that you're not decreasing the mobility in their leg. So you want it snug, but you don't want it tight. So you want it to hold the wings, but you don't want it to cut off circulation, to stop them from being able to. I'm gonna have to use it all because I didn't bring out any scissors. All right, sugar. All right, you're good. You're good, and you're flipping all over me.
try to bring it around. And I try not to get it on their crop either. Alright, let's try that. Now, it's very possible they might get it off and you might have to come back out and wrap it. But it does have to stay on for three days. Alright, so let's show everybody. Okay, calm down. Let's show everybody. Okay, so this wing. And it's underneath. All underneath here. This wing as well. You bring it through the legs. And just be careful, make sure it's not it's not too tight. Just snug. And then you see <laughs> I can't see. See how it crisscrosses over? Now this stays on for three days. And you want to fix this like when you start seeing it like she's about um, three months old, maybe about three months old, maybe a little older, and she just started developing this last week. Now I'm probably going to have to redo this because this part of her wing is out, which means that probably by the end of the day she'll have pulled it out and I'll have to rewrap it. So at the end of three days, you're going to take this off and it should be normal. If it's not, put new wrap on it and do it again. And that's how you treat angel wing. It's not hard. Um, sometimes it's, it's hard to get the wrap on, but it's not a very complicated process. Um, she has a lot of shade over here, so if you have some, you know, an animal that you're a duck or a goose or something that you are doing this for and they're out in the yard, you want to make sure that they have, you know, coolness. If they're doing a lot of swimming, you want to make sure probably that you change it every night because out here in the heat and stuff, they get a lot of uh, moisture and, you know, with the heat and the moisture underneath this bacteria. So... This is, if she doesn't pull this wing out, I'll probably change it for her tomorrow. And then we'll put a new one on just because she does have a little pool over there. And it will get wet and damp underneath. And I don't want anything to happen to her skin. She's a very good girl. And she behaved perfectly. And that is how you treat angel wing. Alright guys, that's all there is to it. Bye-bye. <laughs>